for the moment can't really be able to say how much uh, rainfall and weather variability is affecting our current storage. Uh, we can compare back to 2014 when our dams were almost right across the country. In fact, uh, at about this time, we're almost 100% full, including the Western Cape where I live. And, and then suddenly we've had this period of very, very dry rainfall down here in the Western Cape and clearly affecting other regions across the country as well. So there is a very definite driver uh, of climate change and weather variability that is a factor. Uh, but it's not the only factor, as you well said. And our concern is not only about how we adapt to these uh, changes, but also how we deal with infrastructure that needs much greater investment. Uh, quite clearly right now, the uh, Department of Water and Sanitation is only working effectively with half the amount that it needs. It's only working with about 15 billion in its budget. It actually needs 30 billion, and it needs 30 billion every year for the next 10 years in order to avert uh, some of the disaster that uh, has been forecast for 2030. So it's a combination of things, but certainly what we have to learn to do is to use the water that we have much more effectively within our cities, within our industrial and mining activities as well.